Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Crazy Guys here, back with another video, and today we are going to be doing a Mega Unboxing. Yes, the first ever Mega Unboxing we're doing on the channel. We have a total of six cars here to review today, so grab some snacks, grab a drink, sit back and relax, because this is going to be very entertaining, viewing six very different and unique cars, and uh, some you've probably seen me already kind of show in previous videos, like in the packaging and some that you might have never seen before here that i've shown uh as you can see many different varieties here you can see we have the 2022 cars uh a few peg warmers actually that are always in stores and even a cars on the road car here of road trip lightning mcqueen but i do hope you guys all have a fantastic day and if you're not I hope this video can make it a little bit better for you but just some kind of backstory behind what has been happening recently is that i did take a couple of weeks off uh of youtube just because uh exam season was starting for school so i have been studying for that but it's all over now all my exams so thankfully uh, i could just make some videos for you guys so more context on some of these cars and where i got them three of them which are lightning mcqueen lee race and charlie checker who's just back there i'll show them up right there they uh, were found in late December, actually, and now we're almost in February, which is crazy. Maybe even February by the time this video goes up. But uh, they were found in late December, so a month ago now, uh, just over a month ago. Uh, I want to say Colin Boref here was found early December. So, so sorry, these three guys were found in late December, not late January. Uh, but this Colin Boref was probably early December, late November. Somewhere around then. Uh, we have Millie here, who has actually been in the package for so long. And same here with another car. Actually, we'll just put Millie back quick. Reliability, or liability, see, right there on the far right. Uh, they've been in the package in my room here waiting to be unboxed for a solid few months now. I found them when I did find Holiday Hot Charlie McQueen, which I want to say was in like May. That's when I took kind of some time off of YouTube. And now that I'm back, I just decided to review them right now, which is kind of crazy. But we're gonna get straight on into it here, starting things off here on the left side of Colin Borev. So placing down Colin right in front of the camera right now, we can see that he has a new release for the 2022 mainline, who I'm not sure actually where he did appear. I'm guessing the racetrack, as he has that racetrack on the background from the Red Desert, or Red Packaging, sorry. Colin Borev, name tag right there. Diecast looking pretty nice. Packaging is a little bit beat up, but that's okay. Placing them down here. We see on the back, I see it in Disney Pixar cars too. Okay, so probably at like either one of the races or in the town somewhere. We can see Mater. Uh, is that Mater with Lightning Bolt? Yeah, that's Mater with Lightning Bolt. Ramon, Chisaki, Lee Race right here, who we're also going to be reviewing today. Sarge, Otis, and Francesco Bernoulli, which is pretty cool. But now we're actually going to get on to opening this guy real quick. The place I got it, I had, had tape on it when I picked him up. So, break him free of the tape. And we will put him down right there. Pulling him up to the camera right now. Uh, you can see he has some very big all brown eyes, which are pretty cool. Kind of funny in my opinion that his eyes are so just massive. He has these two little headlights right there. Nice little grill and his, his little smile, which is pretty nice. On the side, he's kind of like a bigger van, I guess. You see he has two nice doors, uh, all gray, silver wheels. Came him over to the back here, we can see his license plate. Extremely blurry and hard to read, actually. Oh, there we go. It says JN0609. Pretty nice. Other side, exact same. And this nice little roof rack on the top, which is pretty nice. Uh, so, first off, kicking it off with a very simple die cast. Roll. Not a lot of space here to roll, but rolls very smoothly, actually, which is pretty nice. And now we're actually going to uh, move on to the next diecast, 
which is actually going to be liability. Let's go. All right, so I just had to angle the camera a little bit lower right now. Just so it's a little bit easier to review. But here we can see Liability, the Demolition Derby Racer from Disney Pixar Cars 3. Just absolutely chucked that packaging by accident. But here on the back, we can see a scene in Cars 3. We can see Rusty's Racing Center, Cruz Ramirez, Rusty's Racing Center, Lightning McQueen, uh, Kurt, I want to say Kurt with bug teeth. Yep, Kurt with bug teeth down in the bottom right. Uh, APB and liability themselves. So, and once again, as you can see, a scene in Cars 3. So, we're actually just gonna open them up right now. I don't actually know if liability is a guy or girl. So, whoa, just came flying out the package. Jeez. Holy. Absolutely sent it. <laughs> wow. Pretty weird shaped die cast, if I said so myself. It has like a matte finish, which is pretty cool. Uh, once again, another car with brown eyes. Hood here, the hood is green. It's like uh, the front part where the hood is is green and the rest of the die cast is purple. And it has this kind of like rocket on it. Like uh, maybe even like a nuke. It has like blowing up there at the bottom, which is pretty cool. Two smokestacks coming out the hood as well, which is awesome. Uh, very like kind of like a gritty expression. Uh, the shape is absolutely atrocious. Uh, I guess it's got they got hit a lot of times. You can see kind of like their left bumper or their left fender kind of comes off a little bit. You can see this massive gap right there. So they're they have green rims and the uh, pink kind of outline of them. If this camera could focus. That'd be excellent. There we go. Number seventy-seven, and once again. Kind of going again, once again, with that uh, rocket design on the side there by the windows, which are also painted green. It has this kind of tally chart on the bottom fender right there on the left. This one says Seek and Destroy on the back left fender in pink, which is pretty cool. Turn it around to the back. Seek and Destroy once again in pink. The exact same thing on the other side. Number 77, Seek and Destroy, Rocket. Uh, kind of has this little pinstripe, pinstripe coming down the back. It's pretty cool. All the windows are painted green. Kind of like the Hulk reminds me of. It's pretty cool. And number 77 on the top. Quick little roll test. Real quick. Honestly, it rolls surprisingly well. Considering it's a Tom Lush and Derby car who's been through heck and back. Which is pretty funny. Oh, I'm falling asleep here. But we're actually going to move over to this side now. And take a little little look at Millie. So we're just gonna pop her open. And once again, almost absolutely everything falls out. I have to kind of sit up here and not lie down. Yeah. Why don't you take Millie out the package herself first? And then her other kind of tools. Yeah. There we go. I don't really know why I sell these Christmas lights up. This is kind of getting in the way right now, but that's all right. Quickly pulling up a little, little pile on right here. All orange with two white stripes, which is pretty cool. So that will go right there. Here we have Millie's little kind of washer. Uh, it's all yellow. Uh, it doesn't actually roll. Oh, yes, it does actually. It has wheels on it. So it does actually roll, which is pretty cool. Um, on the back, you can see like the control panels, which is also pretty cool, pretty neat. Millie, pulling her up to the camera. It's honestly, just really simple. It has green eyes, and then just like no expression. And it's just an all gray pity, which could be used pretty cool in my series. So yes, it could just be one of the racers' pities. But she is absolutely massive. I'm going to try and connect her right now to the washer. I don't think you do. I literally just think you sit it on top. Hmm. I'm just trying to figure this out off camera, see if that's like an option. I don't think it is. I think you just throw it on top of Millie and 
she just pushes it. You just gotta throw it on top of her forks and she just pushes it along. Hmm. It's kind of odd, but neat at the same time, I guess. But that's Millie down. So that's actually the first three die casts down. We're gonna pull up Charlie Checkers here just for the background right there. And we're going to continue right now with Lee Race. All right, everybody, so here we are with Lee Race. Uh, the next car we're gonna unbox, so the fourth car out of six. And he was a part of the most recent haul I got alongside Road Trip Lightning McQueen and Charlie Checkers just over there. And uh, he is a pretty cool die cast. I heard he is peg warming a lot, even though I only found him once, but apparently in the United States, he is peg warming quite a bit. So Lee Race did appear in uh disney pixar cars 2 as we can see back here in the logo he has chasaki uh green ramon or artist ramon i think he's called um from cars 2 obviously mel dorado lee race himself otis and sarge on the back of his card of course all cars that did appear in cars 2 uh pretty nice card art not gonna lie i like that quite a bit disney pixar cars logo there in the top right and the dive pack die cast is looking pretty nice. So we're just going to pop them open right now. Ah, there we go. Whoa. Almost just lost a little science experiment. All right. And there we go. Beautiful. I don't know why, but all the cars now I'll come with that kind of this, like plastic sheet. Yeah. We're gonna throw all this over in the junk pile now. Where if we just pick this up real quick, we can see it's collecting quite a bit now. So it's pretty funny. Alright, placing this back down. Just kind of starting off right now with this little beaker, I think it's called. Uh this is for the all in all, I believe. It's literally just like green kind of like spiral tube thing, plastic. Kind of like a little black base there. This is actually pretty cool because I am actually going to be using it over here at Fillmore's. It can be kind of, I could just say it's like a biofuel thing because right now I'm using this really cheap uh, construction paper, like biosteel thing. Not biosteel, sorry, biofuel. <laughs> I was thinking about the sports drink for a second, biosteel. <laughs> anyway, here is Lee Race pulling him up to the camera. Pretty small die cast, not going to lie. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to lie down here real quick. So he does have some nice kind of brown eyes. Obviously, I think all cars that we've unboxed, other than Millie, actually, have brown eyes today. Um, below his kind of like gold goggles here, his little glasses, uh, it's kind of like a, like a peach color. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like that on the card art. Yeah, no, on his card art, it looks, um, where is he? <laughs> There's Carter. Just, it's like the same color as the of his actual car himself. But you can actually see that it's like kind of like his peach color. But he is white all around, pretty nice. Uh, I wonder if these goggles could like flip up. I don't want to break it, so I'm just not gonna try. Um, he kind of has this kind of like just kind of relaxed expression. Not really, nothing too much. Uh, his mouth isn't really colored in. That's a pretty weird logo right there on the front of the car. I'm not gonna lie. There we can see two headlights, pretty nice. Turning them over to the side. Uh, all silver rims. One big door there on the side, as you can see, and the side mirrors. Over to the back now, his license plate does say AB52. Top, T O P. What's that say? I don't actually know what that says. Let's see. Yeah, I have no idea what that says on the kind of left side right there. Right here, 207. As you can see, back kind of rear view uh, mirror. Not sure what this car brand is. Uh, a little bit difficult to make out there. Two brake lights, the exact same thing on the other side. I'm gonna do a quick little roll test. Right now, see what we're dealing with. Oh yeah, he rolls like a charm. 
I will tell you that. I don't get this little beaker here beside him in the background. Move all these guys over just so you can kind of see who we've unboxed so far. And now we're actually gonna save the best for last, in my opinion, of the new Lightning McQueen. And we are actually going to oh, almost just knock the camera over. So if we could just like turn it like that. There we go. Now we're actually gonna do Charlie Checkers because mine, the old one I have, I wanna say this is from like his first release. I wanna say in like 2007 or eight, whenever he was released, maybe. Don't quote me on that, I'm not sure, for sure. This actually used to be my brother's, but um, he put him through hell and back. <laughs> he is all chipped up. Not the best looking car. Wheels don't really roll as good anymore. I'm still gonna keep him because, you know, he's kind of a, he's a classic, right? You know, and we love the classics. So I just really kind of wanted a new one for like the series, whatever. Um, I uh, don't really want to spoil anything, but there is going to be a new series after I hit 1,000 subscribers. So, yeah, and it's going to be all taking place at the racetrack. So, I'd get super excited for that because I'm literally making a massive racetrack right now. So don't tell anybody, but uh, massive racetracks in the works right now. Motor Speedway of the South is going to be absolutely massive. And a whole series is going to be taking place just there. Uh, and my 1,000 subscriber special is actually going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make it. So, subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see that racetrack. Still kind of have to do a lot on it, so hopefully uh, I'm giving another, like, two weeks till I hit it. But we're only at, like, 950 right now, 960. So, I still have at least another 40 subscribers to go. But keep subscribing, because I'm super excited to get there. But here we can see here, Charlie Chucker, uh, official pace car from 2006. As seen in Disney Pixar cars, we could see Tex. Um, oh, who's that? Oh no, I I know who that is too. I just forget his name. Murray Clutchburn, RV, RD, something like that. Maybe I don't know. I'm actually not as familiar with some of these background cars. One character, surprisingly, um, <laughs> not not very proud of myself. Brad Will. I know such as W his last name. Uh, Let McQueen was signed and Dexter Hoover. Wow, I can't believe I forgot their names. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, we're actually just gonna unbox Charlie right now. Oh, flying. Oh, he goes. Jeez Louise. Just gonna throw a package over there. But here's Charlie all unboxed and looking fantastic. Has some nice blue eyes. All a nice kind of yellow. Uh, car don't really see a lot of yellow cars anymore in the cars universe has these two blue stripes coming all the way down from his Kind of spoiler at the bottom all the way down to his hood. Uh, oh, there he goes uh, Has the piston cup logo right there on the center of his hood piston cup racing series And it has official pace car right there has this lights that they don't turn on but in the movie They do whenever like he comes out for the caution Piston Cup logo right there, and official pace car. Once again, also says official pace car on the back with the two blue lines coming down. No license plate, actually, so it's kind of weird. Once again, also says official pace car there on the back right wheel well, and on the center of his door says Piston Cup Racing Series, which is pretty cool. And kind of an all silver, not silver, all gray base. But now we're actually going to roll test. Oh yeah, rolls rolls very nicely in my opinion. I like that. And just kind of size comparison to his, his older release. I don't know if it's because the yellow's more faded on the older one, but it's a different shade. But yeah, you can see how damaged this old one really was. That's crazy. But yeah. Make sure they don't really need you right now. There we go, and now finally, the first Cars on the Road diecast I've ever gotten and gonna be reviewing on my channel is the Cars on the Road Road Trip Lightning McQueen. As we can see, the nice Disney Pixar Cars on the Road logo there in the top right. Really nice background that McQueen's card art's on. Um, this nice, like, cartoony desert. Pretty nice with some nice blue sky. And you can see new, nouveau, novo, uh, and whatever the last one is, 
2022 because that's when the show came out. Pretty cool with the blisters here. It's like a map. I actually really like that feature. It's pretty cool. Ordinary value of map. It looks like, yeah, yeah, I'd say that because this looks like it's where Radiator Springs is right over there, right? Because like where Will Willie's Butte is, I guess, you know? That cast looking great. Metal logo right there. On the back, we can see as seen in Disney Pixar Cars on the Road. And we have Road Trip Mater, McQueen himself, and the Speed Demon. And once again, this little map on the back, which is pretty cool. Metal logo on the top right. And let's start opening this guy. Here we go. First Cars on the Road die cast unboxed. And I'm actually really happy about it because I really did like Cars on the Road. Wish there was a little bit more racing in it, but that's okay. McQueen, classic all red design, pretty nice. Blue eyes, has this really nice logo um, on his hood. That says RS on the road, which is actually really cool. I love that little feature on the road. It's pretty cool. Um, very happy expressions, all white smile. Uh, red rim, still wearing the light year tires. And the 95 here on his side is actually in the middle of a nice lightning bolt, just like every other McQueen, pretty much. The lightning bolt is yellow and then it fades to like a nice orange and then it fades into the red where it like ends up the gas cap, which I find pretty cool, I like that. No license plate on McQueen, which is kind of weird because like they're traveling all on the road, not really on the racetrack, so like it doesn't have a license plate, which is strange. A little 95 there with the same yellow to orange fade design on the back. The spoiler, nothing's on it. Doesn't say like Rusty's, whatever. Cause he's not Rusty's brandy right now, remember that. Once again, no number on the roof because he doesn't really need a number, you know? Because he's just, he's on the road. He's not at the racetrack. I guess they still put the number 95 just to kind of make it a little bit more Lightning McQueen ish, if you know what I mean. So, that's all right. Uh, they see the lightning bolt on the side with the orange fade that fades into the red, which is pretty nice. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a roll test right now. Oh, yeah, that's that's nice. We're actually going to pull up Rusty's Lightning McQueen right now. And actually um, compare them. So we zoom in now. So I come here and just... I can actually angle this down. I forgot about that. There we go. Angle that down. Um... Probably they're pretty much the exact same size and model because they are the same. They are the same diecast. Remember that. Just a little bit of a repaint. But apparently the cars on the road diecast are selling really fast, which I'm happy that they are because it. Hopefully, if Mattel sees this or if Disney sees this, Pixar, or whatever, they'd make a season two, which I really hope for. That would be excellent, and I'm sure we all do want to see multiple seasons of Cars on the Road. But everybody, that is going to be wrapping up the uh, mega unboxing right now of six new unique die casts. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing, leave a like on this video, commenting, and sharing with any friends. That'd be greatly appreciated. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Crazy Cars Canada for at least two new videos just like this one that you just watched. But yeah, everybody, I do hope you guys all had a fantastic day. I'll see you guys all next time for another Crazy Cars production. Have a great day and peace.